Tunubu's victory, INEC Sever Lorog, shows manipulated election results. Peter will be reviews in court. Hey guys, the truth is finally out too, that Bola Ahmed Tunubu did not win the 2023 presidential election, but it was all manipulated by INEC, spearheaded by the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu. When I know say Nigerians know not they are be since after the presidential election that produced the president elect the APC presidential candidate Bola Me Tunubu. Majority of Nigerians are saying that Tunubu is not their will and they did not vote for Bola Me Tunubu. So how come the INEC chairman announced Tunubu as the president elect at night. Since Bola Ahmed Tunubu has been announced as the president elect, Nigeria had never been the same. Controversy everywhere. Now, this one now, this, this kind of a thing, you know, Nigeria have never witnessed such confusion before now. Say, INEC announced the president elect. Everybody just they talk left, right, and center. Nigerians are really rejecting Bola Ahmed Tunubu. And now the question is, why are they rejecting Bola Ahmed Tunubu? Today, the presidential candidate of uh, Labour Party has revealed how the INEC Sarra laurels shows manipulated election results that produce Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Peter will be reviewed this in court. Let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the February 25th election has made a serious claim regarding the 2023 presidential election results. Peter Obi has said that the server logs and upload shows that Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, manipulated the results of the Saturday, February 25th presidential election, Daily Trust reported. OB and Labour Party's submission is contained in the future reply to the preliminary objection by the INEC asking the presidential election petitions tribunal to dismiss their petition challenging the outcome of the election especially Nigerian's president-elect Ashiwe Jubola Ahmed Tunubu's victory. However, in the reply filed by the elite council, Levi Uzokwe San, Obi and Labour Party said there was no factual basis for INEC's alleged circumvention of the mandatory transmission of the results of the election from the beavers in the polling unit to the IV Vanguard reports added. The aftermath of the newly contested presidential election has reached a fever pitch again, and conversations about the possible outcome of the presidential election petition tribunal have been predicted. Record that the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate Atiku Abubakan Labour Party Peter Obi both filed a petition against the president elect Bola Tunubu and Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The content of their petition fought INEC for its controversial decision not to display results electronically in real time and the malfunctioning of the Beavers machine. Nigerians, you see, it is good to do the real thing. It is good to do the needful at all time. Because if you look at this matter critically, INEC is the big problem here, not Bola Metinobu. Whether Bola Metinobu manipulated INEC or he did whatever he did, though, that is not what we are talking about here. INEC is the real problem. In a same country, Mahmoud Diakubu should not be walking freely at the street. Yes, because he betrayed Nigerians. He did not do what he promised. 
and now he's they are they are even the one claiming that the election was free and fair the election was transparent can we call that election or child's play after he has spent billions of naira to conduct election he even told nigerians that this is going to be the best election so far in the world but what can we now call that election even small country when not rich nigeria then they conduct election they know they hear their voice you we went you spent billions of naira you 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 said with the use of beaver's machine there is nothing like rigging you even said that nigerians will be there why the result of the elections will be uploaded all that was not kept and now then get mad now they talk make the election tribunal you know dismiss peter obi's claim that the election was rigged and all that imagine they are, they, the INEC even went ahead to borrow three billion naira for this matter when they see how this government will drag us back if this INEC did the need for, I don't think we should be talking about what we are talking right now. Nigerian government, they only have money to waste. They can never get money to do the need for. Nigerian students in Sudan, they don't stock for desert. When other countries were busy using plane to, to evacuate their, their, their citizens, Nigerian government, they hear they speak English. This and this and that. How many people? Until that one close. Today, those students, they evacuated in, in Sudan. They have sucked in. They, they are there. They, in fact, they did desert now. This is the government. This is the government we are talking about. They are not proactive. They are not functioning. They can never take anything serious when they're supposed to take things serious. They, that is exactly what INEC did. Today, now, they, everybody wants to make amendments. Sorry, they want to make amend when the deed has already been done. How are you going to make the amend? Where are you going to start from? That's, that election, that election that was like, say, children, they play. That one that they call election. Shame to this government because the election that brought this government on board, they never witnessed things like this. Gulob Jonathan made sure that the election was smooth. And that was why he quietly left the office for them. Look at what President Muhammad Buhari did. After all the promises and all that, I just pity Nigerians when they talk. Why Peter will be go court? Why Atiku Abubakar go court? May they forget Bola Tinubu is our president. I don't have anything against Bola Tinubu as my pre president. No, I don't have anything against him. But we are saying that let things be done in the rightful way because of our children. If we don't do things accordingly, our children, they are still going to follow this way, which is not normal. 